Hi, everybody. How are we doing? Wonderful. Ooh, that was nice. I'm Marlena Brothers Frank, and I'm going to be back up here towards the end talking about happiness. But right now, I'm going to help you engage in an exercise on gratitude. How does that sound? Great. You, okay, so I have buy-in. Okay, so the second part is I was never really a rule breaker growing up, but I'm going to ask you, do you want to break some TEDx rules with me? Yes. Okay, a little bit louder. Yes. Okay, you just broke the first, no yelling. Okay. The second rule we're going to break is I'm actually going to have you pull your cell phones out, not yet. I know you're so excited about that. You're going to pull out your cell phones and I'm going to have you engage in an, a, a gratitude practice of sorts. We're also going to turn on the lights a little bit. But before we do that, I want to talk about gratitude, because a lot of us use this word and we use it often, but what does it really mean? It's a state of being thankful, and gratitude is one of the most powerful human emotions, and you have the ability to evoke it at any time for yourself and for someone else. When you thank a loved one or anyone you care about, when you give them a heartfelt thank you, or they give you a heartfelt thank you and you're on the receiving end, you're immediately happier. You're immediately filled with joy. And it changes your entire perspective of the world around you. You're more appreciative and more encouraged of what you're experiencing. So with that in mind, I want you to think about someone in your life that you are in communication with that you would like to thank. This does not have to be a heavy, heavy thank you. We don't need to go there. I can come back another day and we can do a whole vulnerability thing. But for today, this can be very simple. It can be a thank you to your mom for a home-cooked meal last night. It can be a thank you to your neighbor for pulling out the garbage can. It can be a thank you to your teenage daughter for getting up on time. Whatever one works for you. Are we ready? Yes. Yes, yes. okay, I, I'm not so convinced, but we're gonna go ahead with it. So I'm gonna ask our individuals out there, our tech crew, which is amazing, to turn on the lights a little bit. Ooh, it's like we're in a nightclub. Okay, so go ahead and pull out those cell phones. And I'm gonna be able to see if you're doing this because it's sort of like a concert, it's holding up the light, okay? So pull out those cell phones and open up your text messages and perhaps you need to scroll, you may need to scroll and find someone that you would like to thank. I'm going to give you about a minute on this and simply send them a message of why you're thankful for them. So don't make it awkward, don't just say thank you. Say thank you for, and this is why. And there's a beautiful thing that will probably come from this practice. During intermission, when you pull your phones out, there's probably going to be a response. And it's going to make you feel really, really good. So go ahead and complete it. Do we have our people that we're thanking? Yep. Yes, okay. When you're done, I'm going to ask you to make sure that that phone is still silenced and turned off and go ahead and put it away. And you're going to see how this correlates with my talk at the end of today. Thank you, everyone. See you soon. Yeah. <laughs>